see what I mean? Like, there's no, there's no options. There's no. It's just tactically not interesting. The only way through is to shoot through them. And this, there's an enemy there. Is that a turret? That's a turret. Should I shoot the turret or no? Wait a Should I shoot the turret or use my biggest? Let me do that. Do that. So I possessed it, and then there's no enemies down here. Look at that, I went to the trouble of possessing that, and then there's no enemies down here, so it's just a waste of time. Like, you see what I mean when I say it's just tactically not interesting? Okay, now, now they're here. Now they're here. It's not like you can, you know, possess the turret and then the turret ambushes them from behind or anything. No, it doesn't do anything. Alright, well, the position is finished. And in the end, you still have to do all the work yourself, really, because the turret did nothing useful. The turret killed one person. Still alive? This is all right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel. It's just really unsatisfying to me. There's there's no there's no clever way to get through this. You just have to shoot your way through. All right. So what's going on? Rooftop again. There's no way to avoid the enemies. You have to shoot them. There's an enemy through here somewhere. I can hear them. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, great. Can I possess that turret? Is that turret doing anything? I don't know. I can't. I can't tell. Okay, the turret is doing something. There you go. It's shooting that guy in the back. Awesome. The turret killed zero people. In all that time, the turret killed zero people. It's still shooting. It's still not doing anything useful. And the turret's almost zero health. Can they not kill each other? Look at that, the turret is zero health. Oh no, 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 it's alright, no. I possessed that turret twice. It killed zero enemies. You, this game literally forces you to do your own fighting, because the, the enemies are useless. I mean, they're like, the, you know... Possession is useless. Kind of look at him, he's just still running around. Alright, well, he's still coming. Really? There's no there's no tactics, you just shoot them, basically. If you try to be clever, you're just wasting your time with this game. And that's a real shame because the first two Bioshock games were really interesting. Like, tactically really interesting. Everyone stay calm and lock your doors if you can. The Prophet foresaw this day would come, and he is prepared. The answer is not in panic, but in prayer. <laughs> Alright, well, you can pray the... Trade the wits away if you want. So that's how you want to do it. Can I jump down there? I keep trying to want to escape. But there's nothing down there, is there? Alright, let's, let's just go where the game wants us to. You know, despite 
this and like everything being flying and the spikes. You know, the fact that it seems like you should have a lot of freedom in the game, given how everything is open and floating and, and flying around. There's really not much you can do except just go where the game lets you and shoot the people that the game throws at you. It's just that, I mean, the, the theme and the and the imagery and the story they're telling you is the, this kind of amazing floating city, but when you play it, it's just another shooter, you know? And not even a really good shooter, just another average shooter. And I think that's the really disappointing part, is when the... I mean, if, if they told a bad story and the combat was mediocre, then at least, you know, okay, just it's just a bad game. But they tell you a really great story, but then the, the gameplay is mediocre, and then you're thinking it could have been so awesome, but it's not. And that's where the disappointment comes from. Consider not shooting first. Well, that would that disappeared quick. Violence is not the answer. As much as I support her cause, her people, blood must not be shed. What do you expect these poor Negroes to do? How they treat them? It was bound to happen. Violence is not a foregone conclusion. Right. Well, now they show you the uh, the other side of Colombia, which is the utter racism going on. A meeting of the Columbia Friends of the Negro Society. Pastor Aitken's sermon topic, until the Negro is equal, none of us are equal. So, yeah. They have um, black slaves in Colombia. As was the case back, you know, in United States history. Tim, the one they're after. Go. They're looking for you. Police! We're in need of your assistance. They're here! Shh. Keep your voice down. Alright. The police... I believe the police will come in after a while. Let me just look around here. Who are these guys? Right. That's the Colombian flag. So... Are they coming in, or...? Alright, they're not coming in yet. Turn off that radio. So these people are gonna talk to them. No, I can't talk to them. So they're they're trying to help the black people in Colombia. We haven't seen any black people, so it's still white people that we're looking at. But these are abolitionists. And this is an old school toilet. Let me just show me back here. Is, does this open up to... Alright, no it doesn't. Let me just loot your things. There we go. Abraham Lincoln, abolitionist. And is that a... Oh, these are black people. Hey, can I talk to you? No. So... They have a few black people taking shelter here. Then we'll just take their money because that's how we are. Uh, we don't want your cigarettes, we don't need your wallet. What else do you have? We are we are equal opportunity looters. Basically we loot everybody. Regardless if you are racist or not. We would take your money. So there's the there's the soldiers outside. Yeah, right there. I don't remember what's the best way to go about this. But I don't think there's any way to avoid them. I think they're just gonna... Oh, that's a vending machine. I think they're just right outside the door. See, there's no there's no way to avoid them, right? What is this? Oh, this is a gun. So that's salt. I already have that gun. I just want to see if there's any clever way to do this. I know there isn't. I'm pretty much 100% sure there's no clever way to do this, but... So what happens if I... See, it's right there. And he does nothing! Look at him! I possessed him and he's not doing anything useful.
That is so bad. I possessed him and he did nothing useful for me. Instead, these guys came in behind, killed those abolitionists, and that's it. That is so bad. Yeah, I see you. I, tr I tried to be clever. I tried to be clever. Whoa, what? Oh, hey. Ah, uh, I'm stuck on something. Let me just stab this guy and he dies. Alright. I, I went out, I possessed that guy, I was hoping... What? For your woman folk, I don't, I'm not that interested in your woman folk. Yeah, so I, I possessed that guy, I was hoping that he would start shooting his friends and then that would give me an advantage, but no, no, nothing of the sort. Possessing that guy did nothing useful for us. Man, I'm so, I'm so disappointed by the combat and the gameplay. What else going on? Ammo? Don't need ammo. That did nothing useful for us. Alright, so now we're through that house. The abolitionists got killed. Not really because of us, but more so because the game kind of forces that to happen. Oh look, what's this? Danger on all sides! We must be ever vigilant. Yes, vigilant. Against the scourge of the vault. Stand alert for Columbia. Doesn't really say what the vault is. More floating bits of buildings. There's a lot of buildings up here. Should we try to estimate the population of this place? Um. Maybe a thousand people can live in that? What do you think? Yeah, probably. So if we try to try to estimate the population... I mean... It'd be maybe up to a hundred thousand people? Maybe less. Could be less. I don't know. Just judging by, you know, how many floating buildings there are and what's going on. And the types of buildings we're seeing. Wild West Sh Show? Preston Downs Marksman Game Hunter of Legend. Well, oh, there's no game up here, it's just a city. Gomshot came by the wagon at dawn. Man was just. He's just transfixed by my trophy scalps. Asked about the white ones there. I said, Well, sir, if your quarry dwells in the jungle and beds down with the local color, why split hairs? <laughs> Not a chuckle out of him. Either he ain't seen a man go native, or maybe... Maybe too many. Anyhow. Now he's got me hunting down this Daisy Fitzroy. Hope he don't expect me to stuff and mount her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Um, there's no subtitles. Let me just try and... Options... Graphics... Not graphics, back audio, dialogue subtitles. There's no subtitles for the for the audio logs. That's a shame. So he's talking about how when Comstock went to see him, Comstock was interested in the white trackers, as in the the, the white guys, and he's saying that if you want. You know, good trackers, you need people who know the area, so you want the natives to help you. And a Comstock was not amused by that. And then he made a 
remark about wanting to stuff Daisy. Um, what's her name? The leader of the Vox Populi. So there you go. 